I'm going to share with you is to uh, really establish uh, uh, credibility and uh, write a book. I have a writer, a little book called uh, uh, Input from China. When I first write the book, I wasn't thinking of making money, really. I wasn't thinking of to, uh, you know, selling the book massively. I was just really, um, you know, I don't know if I have, a, I have that urge. I want to write something about it. I want to, like, you know, uh, it's one of my dreams and to write a book. At the beginning, I was thinking to write a book about myself, like my story. But then, my marketing manager said to me, really, write a book about, you know, input from China first, and uh, your area, your, um, like, uh, the business, and in that way, then can really, so, you know, took off. I was thinking, good idea, because at that time, I already um, had probably two or three hundred clients, and I have many experience about the different projects and knowing things inside out and dealing with many different projects and the different supplier. So okay, I said I will write a book first. I never write a book before. English is not my language. Mm -hmm. How challenging it is. And uh, I have no idea so, okay, how to write a book. But anyhow, uh, luckily I just uh, say, okay, I'm going to, you know, I, I, luckily I love to read books. So I read a few books and I was thinking, oh, my book, first of all, I define what my book is going to be. Because this book is going to be a fantastic book. Because it's related very specific about importing. And therefore, it is not appealed to general mass. And therefore, I need to identify who is my target market. And once I get to know that, so I start to set my mind to. And uh, I start to write my book. And the more I write my book, I, my mind up ticking. Do I give everything about my business away? What if the customer bought my book and don't use me anymore? You know? And that sort of thing like running through my mind. What if they know all my inside secrets? Do I really write that? So I was battling. But then I realized, that, like, you know, what I asked myself, Lily, what sort of book do you like to read? Do you like to read a book, just touch something and continually urge you to buy stuff? Or do you actually love the book who will give you inside out and then you really learn something and practical and if you want to know more, you go to more? Because I like you know, the latter. So in that case, I would be, I need to be the, the kind of person I like to be. I need to be the person I love. So I said, okay, I'm going to give everything I know. So what if there is abundant business out there? If some of the people who read my book and then can kind of apply and make a business out of it, Great, that means my book made a contribution. And if they read about it, they love my system, and they want to become my customer, that's great. The book served the purpose as well. So with that mentality, and once it's set, I just feel very clear. And when I started writing my book, I, uh, all I did was uh, I wasn't really um, have very ambitious. I just say, you know, I just allocated two hours a week and uh, to do that. And on um, shameful. On Sunday from 1 to 3, every week. And that's my time. If I finished, I finish writing, no matter how much I write, and then I stop and reward myself. Sometimes I write a lot, sometimes I, I write very little because you know not much coming on. Sometimes I just thought, wow, there's so many things coming up I can write. And then when I was writing, I remember I write, finished the writing the, the first chapter. I sent it to my marketing manager for him to review. He gave me so much feedback. <laughs> my gosh, I hate it. And he said, English is not good, your chapter is uh, you know, not logical, and this and that. I'm thinking, stop it. Don't give me any feedback. I'm not going to give you any more. I'm going to just write it. I'm going to ignore your opinion until I finish writing everything. That's the time you give me feedback. So it was so funny, and, and uh, you know, I just uh, keep writing. And whatever is come to my mind, I don't care whether the English is no good or whatever. I think you know, later on, I can have a professional editor as long as she is knowing my thoughts and that my assistance makes sense, and then she can follow through and she can help me editing. So luckily, you know, I followed my own dream. I wasn't stopped by any of the negative feedback. I just continue writing, and finally, I. Actually, I completed my first draft in three months, and that, that was an amazing experience. When I finished that, I felt so great, and I don't even 
was touching anymore. I keep there for a while. And uh, when I published my book, and it's an amazing experience. And uh, I, I have two choices. I can have a publisher who undertake my book, and or I can publish the book myself. And uh, so um, it was actually at that time I met uh, Sandy as well, uh, Sandy Foster. And also I read a couple of other people's books talking about self-publishing. And so I decided, you know, because of the book, because of the value, I um, it's better at self-publishing the book. And when I selling the book, I wasn't thinking. I don't know, when, you know, how many of my book is going to be sold, and who is going to buy my book. And even I know it's massive value, but I don't have that marketing skill for my book. And you know, all of those concerns we normally have. So anyhow, my first print, I only print 100. I think oh, this book is just a souvenir. It will be last forever in my, you know, bookshelf there. <laughs> and uh, it, <laughs> it was quite funny also. Uh, and then after that, I also made a DVD. And uh, DVD was quite fun, quite funny. And uh, you know, I talked about case study, talked about project. And then when I finished, the, uh, you know, everything, the whole set is ready. So um, luck, the, it really takes some momentum. My first 100 and uh, take probably um, a year to sold out, but my second 100 probably only took three months to sold out. Mm -hmm. This is my actually uh, third edition, and uh, I just updated the new one. And uh, because people really get to know every time, actually, my book now is uh, stored in the National Library okay. and also um, the UQ. Um, the UQ bought the five set book and the DVD in their libraries for their students, and also. Because I've been invited into a lot of, like, say, Australian Institute of Management, National College of Business, and Bank of Home, the whole different organizations, they all love to buy and afford to serve their members. And my book just sold out. And I wasn't thinking of making money, but now looking back, wow, well, actually, the book is an IP, and we put money for it. And uh, um, my, actually, I'm also selling my ebook online as well. I'm probably selling my ebook about uh, 20. Ebook was selling about forty-seven dollars uh, each book, so it's not cheap. And uh, so, in a way, but people, whenever they bought it, they read it because it's related to their field. There is actually, I was told by University of Queensland, there is no such book about importing from China in their library at all. And I searched on Amazon, there is only one other book on, on Amazon about importing. And uh, I, yeah, now next one is I'm going to put my book on Amazon.